Halo Infinite is one of the most important titles that Microsoft has ever worked on. A lot of gamers are very excited to play Halo Infinite's campaign. It's one of the things that Microsoft's really pushing right now. Clearly in the showcase, that's the first thing they really showed us is about eight minutes of the campaign of Halo Infinite. But we all know after that's done with, what are people gonna constantly go back to Halo Infinite for? It's gonna be the multiplayer. It's always Microsoft's bread and butter when it comes to Halo is the multiplayer. And we got a little bit more information in terms of that. But before we get on with the video, definitely hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video you can always subscribe to the channel for weekly content and you should go over there and follow me on twitter at lord addict iop and you can always click that bell icon down there to get notified when i make a video without any further ado let's get on with the video What's going on you guys? Gaming Ad here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Halo's multiplayer. It's definitely one of the things that's always kept me in the ecosystem. It's always kept me coming back to the Microsoft brand for the past few installments is that multiplayer. That multiplayer has always been one of the things that I enjoy the most about this franchise in general. One of the biggest questions I had is what exactly are they going to do that's different in Halo Infinite to make it stand out from previous Halos? There's been a lot of rumors going on about the multiplayer of Halo Infinite being free to play and a lot of people kind of dismiss this in the in the long run because they didn't really think that microsoft would make halo infinite the multiplayer make that a free to play because it's halo it's one of the breadwinners and a lot of people will be buying this game because of the multiplayer but today 343 actually came out on twitter and officially confirmed that yes the multiplayer of halo infinite will be completely free to play now we don't know exactly what that means in terms of it's going to be its own launcher i I would assume that the campaign of multiplayer of Halo Infinite will have two different launchers. But the thing is, is when you go into Halo Infinite story and you launch a multiplayer game, it'll probably just switch over simultaneously. Now, I know a lot of people might be a little concerned when it comes to making Halo Infinite's multiplayer free to play. But the, the thing is, is hear me out. Free to play when in terms of multiplayer, it is the standard. It is what everyone expects out of a multiplayer game. Sure, they could make this a paid experience, but the problem with that is there's so much competition in the free-to-play area that it's so much easier to convince people's friends to go out and just download an app rather paying 50 to 60 dollars for a game especially competing wise how are you going to have a paid multiplayer when places like Fortnite is just killing it because they're making it extremely accessible to anyone that has an Xbox anyone that has a PC it's probably going to be on Steam so you need that accessibility to compete with games like Fortnite. I would say the only one that can really is the exception is Call of Duty, but at the end of the day, is Call of Duty really accepted? Because there's a thing called Warzone that is free to play. So is Call of Duty really the exception to the free to play model? I think that's up in the air. I think more people probably play Warzone than they play the Call of Duty paid multiplayer experience, but I don't have any type of numbers. I'm just going by what I've seen on my friends list, and that's just my friends list. There's been a couple other announcements that's happened when they announced this free to play multiplayer. So it does look that Arena is going to aim for 120 frames per second on the Xbox Series X. That's fantastic. But there is a little thing that I'm a little worried about. There's a lot of TVs that don't support this, but there's more monitors that support this. So it does look like they're leaning a little bit towards the PC crowd. I don't know if this is mainly going to be built for the PC crowd because there's more options, 220 frame monitors than there is TVs. I myself don't have a TV that that is capable of 120 frames. But I know a lot of people that do, and I'm sure there's going to be a huge demographic of a people that have these premium products and they're gonna really appreciate Microsoft for giving them the option of doing that. But I wanna warn you guys, when you start playing games at like 120 frames, you're not gonna be able to go back very effectively and play anything that's below that. So Halo Infinite's gonna have a battle pass system. I'm sure a lot of you that's played Destiny, play Fortnite, you've seen this in other games. Now we don't know how they're gonna imply this in other games maybe they'll have it to where it's seasons and depending on what type of the year you're playing with it you'll have different type of seasons that lets you get certain type of cosmetics because the next thing that was reported is customization options are completely new to halo so that can mean a, a, a variety of different things clearly there's always been customization in halo so it's kind of interesting that they, there's going to be options that's never been in halo so i think they would go towards the you know the emote stuff like that i don't really want halo going that 
that direction and i think this whole you know battle pass system could definitely blow up in their face but it's like i said you have a huge amount of people pretty much the majority of gamers these days are playing these free to play models they're playing these battle passes they know these as long as they do it correctly and they don't try to milk you or, or you know microtransaction the hell out of you i'm okay with this i don't mind them doing this it's like i said you cannot compete with fortnite if you happen to pay money to get into the multiplayer you have to make it as accessible as possible and i my hat's off to them because this is definitely a w for halo infinite there's been a lot of negative news going around about halo infinite i'm kind of surprised they didn't show this in the 23rd microsoft event i think that would have been something really nice to announce there on the stage but anyway you know tell me what you guys think put that in the comment section below do you think this is a good move for microsoft did you see this coming i know a lot of people in the community really vocalized that they kind of figured that this is going to be a free-to-play scenario but you know it definitely surprised a lot of people in the industry because like i said it's microsoft's iconic halo i'm kind of curious to see how the sales are in general but you know maybe this free-to-play model is going to make them more money in the long run because i hope they don't over microtransaction us but there's definitely going to be some form of microtransactions in this game and i'm okay with this let's just see how it rolls out definitely put that in the comment section below how you feel about this new move that microsoft's doing i do feel like it's a huge w i'm curious to see you guys' results and until the next halo news this is gaming addict i'm out of here peace